This week on In Building Design, we're hitting the road and each other for a very special Cultured Stone episode. It's all about doppelgangers, clone stones, and celebrity lookalikes, and it's happening right now. Welcome to In Building Design. I'm Rob McKay, and with us as always is our eternal new guy, Ted. How you doing? All right, Ted. Hey, and sitting shotgun today, our special guest from Westlake Royal Stone Solutions is area sales manager, Joe Mark Scores. Joe, thanks for being with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you so, thanks for having me. We figured since you spend so much time on the road, a lot of windshield time, let's start the show out where you feel most comfortable, right? Sure, this is my office. Yeah. So. We have a little tradition on this show that we like to, uh, you know, have our guests introduce themselves, but we'd like to put a little uh, challenge to you. Sure. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, but do it in 15 seconds or less? Sure. Can you? Can you? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, uh, and go. Yeah. Joe Mark scores. I actually, actually have an identical twin brother. Um, I grew up in St. Louis, the home of baseball heaven. Uh, I've been working <laughs> for Westlake Royal Stone as the area sales manager, cover a few states in the Midwest and uh, try to get more stones specified on the walls. Wow. How does everybody do that? Now, normally I would be handing you guys both beers. Oh, so you. you gotta do the right thing, but right. Well, just okay. enjoy those as a placeholder so, for later. Make it a good show. Cheers. Cheers. Joe, you're here because of your background in, in Cultured Stone. Um, Cultured Stone is the, the original, right? It is. As far as a brand name, um, they started all of this uh, manufactured veneer stone, right? Yep. And they're known as the premium brand, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing because it, just because you know people refer to cultured stone as a generic term, it's like the uh, Kleenex brand. Yeah, oh, I knew you were gonna say Kleenex. Stone. Yeah. It's a good thing because you know somebody talks about cultured stone and that steers them to our website, but it's also a bad thing. Just because somebody makes you know stone in their garage doesn't mean that it's cultured stone. We would refer to that as a manufactured stone. Sure. So cultured stone is a very well recognized brand. And honestly, I mean, it's 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 kind of everywhere. So, I mean, when I'm out, I drive my family nuts. Everywhere we go, you know, we walk up to a restaurant and we're driving down the street and say, hey, and they're like, yes, dad, we know that's culture stone. Yes. To me, it just reminds me of the, it reminds me of the old Volkswagen game. You know, you'd see a Volkswagen, you see a Beetle and you immediately turn to your brother <laughs> and punch him as hard as you can in the arm and say, slug bug. Yeah, yeah. that's a fun game. It, I, it I is, it is a fun game. game. Like right over there, there's some culture stone there. There you go, I'll land on you, Joe. Jeez. Sorry. You have to say Slugstone or he oh. gets to hit you back. All right, all right. Slugstone. Oh, jeez. Slugstone. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even know. Is that, is that the one right there, the McDonald's? Yep. That's what yeah. you're looking at? Yeah, yeah, that's Jeez, it. a lot of our stuff. Okay. Yeah. Slugstone. Oh. Chardonnay Southern Ledge Slugstone. Oh, whoa. All right, Slugstone. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that might have been a little harder, but Slugstone. Who's winning? Ooh. I don't know. I think we're going to have to go by the size of the bruises on your arms when we get back. Bucks County Country Ledge, Slug Bug, Slug Stone. Ooh. All right, man, I'll tell you what. I, it's obvious this stuff's, culture stone's everywhere. And if we can keep going with this, I don't know if I'll be able to get us uh, get us home yeah. with both arms. So <laughs> in the interest of safety, let's go head back and uh, let's get a cool one. Yeah. Sure. That awesome. sounds great. Let's Let me it. finish your waters, guys. I want All you right. to be hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I, was a little, I think we took that a little too seriously. Yeah, you can't take yeah, slug stone too seriously. Oh, there you go. look at That'll that. That'll make you feel better. That's worth it. Thank yeah. you, Ken. Oh, you're welcome. It's, gonna it's my job. Probably ease the pain a little bit. So I want to blow your mind. Yeah. Take you back in time. Sure. Found a sample board of one of the original oh. cultured stones. Look at this. Oh. Silverado oh. Weather Edge. I mean. Oh, my. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, you guys it. were doing it right. Back when? When was this? Yeah, it was the '60s. That the, that's the old Brown Brothers logo. Look at that. I mean, it kind of kind of has a '60s feel. But look at that. So that's today's sample board versus back then. Yeah, it's been using a lot of the same technology, just enhanced it in the last you know 60 years. Um, yeah. Mold technology and the coloring process. That's really it. Does this this caveman right here have a name? Yeah. Do you want to go ahead? What oh. was his name? You remember? Rocky. Rocky. Ro oh. Rocky. Oh, I get uh, it. Yeah. Okay, Rocky. that's very, very good. Very, very. Good. very... To be honest with you, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can, if we can get in there, but yeah. what do you think? Really, you put a loincloth on this guy. This guy, though, is known as much as the name is. This logo is known for people that have been in the business. So yep. they're not the same profile, right? They're not. So but, uh, they don't make this one anymore. But this is kind of the modern name version of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, still say. a rough texture, color is yeah, well, somewhat similar. Yeah, but I mean, remember when we talked to Kevin? Yep. Kevin Grotke about this kind of thing, and he was saying that it's almost impossible 
to tell the difference between cultured stone and natural stone. Oh. Unless you, you just have to know it. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Um, should we blow his mind? Yeah. Go, why, get, go get your case. Go get your case. Why are we all blowing each other's minds? Well, why not? Watch this. This <laughs> is something I think you're going to be truly amazed. Whoa. Is that like, Special do I case? need to diffuse something? Cut the red wire. Ooh, red wire. Oh, Whoa. wait, wait. Ready? Let me get this out of the way. Now, this is okay. where the magic happens. You ready? Th by the way, I mean, this is pretty coveted in your industry, right? This like, is very coveted. I mean, yeah, people are fighting over these. People asking for these all the time. This is the best sales tool that we have. We ask masons and play the game with masons and architects and GCs all the time. And let's see if we can stump you. Okay. I mean, and, I'd be surprised if a genie didn't come out of there, but let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. One of these stones is natural. Mm -hmm. One of them is a manufactured cultured stone. Uh, I can't touch it, though. Nah, I can't let you touch them yet. Can okay. you tell me which one's natural? I have to tell you just by looking look. at Get it. Get in here. Take a good look. One's okay. natural. All right. I, th I think I know which one the natural one is. You think? Which one? I do, but I feel like I'm going to be wrong. I feel like that's the natural one. No. You're wrong. That's mm. probably good for the purposes of this demonstration. But um, I'll tell you that, like, the, the weathered edges here and the, and the rock face, that, that's a term. Oh, look rock at face. you. Rock face looks, looks real. It's very tough to tell. You know? Yeah. Um, manufactured stone has come a long way. Uh, there's a lot of manufacturers out there. So a lot of them do it differently. Uh, cultured stone, we take a lot of pride in our mold technology and the coloring process. So all of our molds are actually made from natural stone. Give it that natural look. And then all the colors applied by hand. Well, but take but, a look at them. Okay. Right? Let's, so let's see. now I can hold them. I've earned it. I've earned it by being wrong. So listen, so they, what, what they do is they take this, this the natural stone, right? They go ahead and pre-shape it, right? So it's, it's ready to go on the wall and make a mold out of this. So it gets all that texture, mm -hmm. all that, uh, you know, what did you call it? Uh, the, the rock facing, rock the weathering facing. I mean, that's going to be there yeah. in, in the mold. So now when they, they go ahead and pour the concrete into it. Now, hold on a second. Up, right? Hold on a second. Oh, I missed looks, the step. So, so you missed one step. I did. Oh, we don't, so when I, when I first visited the plant, I thought we colored the face of the stone. But first we make the molds and then we apply the color to the mold. By so, hand. You, so when you put the concrete in it, it's the it's color there. gets up onto the face of the stone and around to the side. Right, because yeah. if you just poured it on top of it, this whole thing would be like orange. You wouldn't yeah. Yeah. It would look like yeah, look. yeah. Right. So, fun fact about our coloring process and in, in the manufacturing process in the plant: it's the, the coloring line is the most detailed and sought-after job in the plant. It takes about ten to fifteen years to get there. You could <laughs> have up to ten different colors on one. Do they stone. get? Do they get like the little the eyeglass too? They're, I just see like the the person like. Next. No, no. no eyeglass, but there's no. what we call a color spectrometer. It reads color much better than the human eye so that we have a consistent uh, Southern Ledge Echo Ridge uh, product that we're creating all the way through. Yeah. So you worry about being the new guy. Like, yeah, I'll worry about being the new guy. We'll maybe, get you there a little sooner than 10 to 15 I'm years. sure I can become a master painter before I get on this can. That's, That's probably fact. true. That's a fact. Well, all right. So speaking of doppelgangers, I've, uh, I've prepared a little little game of my own, if oh. you will. I call it Will Ferrell versus Chad Smith. The game where people try to tell the difference between celebrities who look almost identical, like famous comedian Will Ferrell and legendary Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith. Okay. Ah, love it. All right. All right, guys. Now, you may be able to discern between two different kinds of rocks. Absolutely. But how good are you at famous faces? Terrible. Terrible. Okay, uh, honest. Uh, honest. Always down for a game. That's huh. Okay, good, good. We'll have fun. This is just this is just fun. I might actually get a win on this show. You need a win right, when it comes see. to these competitions. Yeah, All right, so what I've done is I've prepared several slides here of celebrities and their famous or not so famous lookalikes. For example, yeah. Will Ferrell and Chad Smith. So what you're gonna have to do is I'm gonna put up the picture of the two people and ask you which one is which. Yeah. And you have to guess either left or right which one is the correct person. Got it. All, All right. right, let's go to the Guys. first slide. All right. Oh. Which one of these two ripped gentlemen is Lieutenant Eric Fields of the Alabama State Police? Holy moly. I don't know. I'm going to, oof. I'm going to go, I'm going here. Oh, that kind of threw you out. I'm going to go here. All right, and let's see. Who's Eric Fields? Yes. And of course, the one on the left is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Man, I can smell what he's cooking. Yep, got it, all right. All right, here we go, next one. Here you oh, go, boy. which one of these two men is famed Michael Jackson impersonator? Sergio Cortez. Go ahead, Sergio. Sergio? Sergio. I'm going Sergio. 
And you are correct. There we go. Correct. Yeah, Although that is difficult. I think both men had a lot of work done. <laughs> okay, uh, which yeah. one of these lovely brunettes is Bad Mom star Mila Kunis? Mm. Mila. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I like this. This, this is, is a lock. You got yes, this. Yes, because this is oh, Modern know. Family. Ah, that '70s show there you right go. here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Big fan. Mila Kunis ah. over here. We have Sarah Hyland from Modern Family. Love it. There Love you it. go. Okay. Last but not Whoa. least, and this is the problem with HD sometimes. Whoa. Uh, Mugshot. Uh, which one of these grinning goons is Scrubs actor Zach Braff? You ever seen the show Scrubs? No. No Scrubs. No. That's no. different. Though. No, that's a this song. Is a TV show. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Say this guy kind of looks like a scrub, so we play playing the part. This guy right here is a scrub actor. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is, where is Zach Braff? There he is. And then Dak Shepard over Dak. here, oh, Dak. who is uh, I guess his claim to fame is he's married to Kristen Bell. Yep. Does she uh, build Kristen snowmen Bell, still? Huh? She does. If okay. you want to. Oh. If you want to build one, she's you want in. to build one with me? <laughs> I like this repartee we have going here. But that's it. That's the game. So hey, you survive. Good so game. Um, who won? Oh, there are no winners or losers in, in Will Ferrell versus Chad Smith because we're all winners. Cool. Wait. Ah, oh, there it is. Joe, you might not know what that sound is, but it's time for Hot Off the Facts. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at and that. That's Oh, I love this part. It's a lot, and it's a mighty stack this time. Oh, look at that. We've got lots of yeah, questions. Yeah, I know. I know. Just, <laughs> let's just get ready. Peaked a lot of interest. All right. Let's start. Dominic from Oak Park in the first question asks, do I have to do anything special to put culture stone veneer on my house? It's a good question. I want to make sure that the, the layers behind the stone are installed properly. A uh, typical system is, you know, your two layers of house wrap, metal lath, a, a scratch coat for mortar, uh, and, and you come back with your uh, back butter on the stone, stick it to the wall. Yeah. There's a lot of detail that can go into that, so refer back to the website for more information. Just make sure you choose a good contractor that understands those layers that go behind the stone. Yeah. Can, can you uh, dispose of that for me? Always. That's, that's what I'm here much. for. Ooh, Get rid of all right. <laughs> I love this. We've got another question. All right. Malcolm from Crest Hill says, can I use a po power washer to clean my stone? Uh, I don't know if that sounds good. Not a good idea. No. Uh, a lot of people want to dial that uh, power washer up way too high and write their name on the wall. We don't recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> Damage the face of the stone. Uh, so if you are going to clean our stone, just use a mild granulated detergent yep. uh, with a soft bristle brush. Uh, scrub that off. It needs to be cleaned. Hose? Can we use a hose, uh, like can, just to get it? Yeah, like you can you're use saying? a hose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So once you once you brush it off, uh, uh, take that hose and saturate that wall. Get all those chemicals off the wall, um, and you should be good to go. We see it all the time. There's one surefire way to ruin the stone on your home. It's to power wash it. So please don't do that. Just be nice and gentle to it, and it'll last the life of your home. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> Not gentle, but no. Question number three, Emily in Little Rock says, should I use a sealant on the stone? It's a great question. It's a great question. Protect your investment? Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. The, the, the reason people want to use sealants is to make it a little easier to clean. Yeah. Um, we actually do not recommend sealing our products. If you are going to seal our products to make it easier to clean, uh, use a silane-based or a siloxane-based breathable sealer. Usually when we say the word sealer, people think of, Tom think of Thompson's water seal, you know, yeah. for decking. You know, that's not good because that can trap moisture uh, and not allow that wall to breathe or that stone to breathe. It needs uh -huh. to breathe a porous product. So if you're going to seal it, use a silane-based or siloxane-based breathable sealer. But see, not what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing when I see Joe's face is like, just don't seal it. Don't seal just it. Don't, don't, seal, don't it. seal it. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So great question, Emily. Thank you very much. Our final question comes from Zachary in Toluca Lake, California. California. Ah, see, look at that geography. That I'm I building know. an addition to my home and I want to match the stone that's already on my house. How do I get that done? Go on our website. There's a located dealer uh, section of our website. Uh, punch in your zip code. It'll give you the list of dealers around there. Um, reach out to them. You can send them pictures as well. Uh, it, it may end up getting uh, located back to a sales rep at Cultured Stone. We are glad to help. We have professional dealers that are glad to help uh, help you identify that stone and get you uh, what you need on your addition to, to match the existing. So it's kind of like when you go to when you go to the store to match paint color. 
You're just like, hey, exactly. this is the paint that's on my wall. And there's yep. people that they didn't leave any extra paint, so I yep. really want to. Okay, good. Cultured okay. Stone has the pros. Great question, Zachary. Really appreciate it. That's all we've got on Hot Off the Facts. Please uh, take care of that for me. You bet. And all right, remember, if you have questions, you can fax them to us. Yes, we still have a fax at 708-371-0686. And maybe yours will be the next question on Hot Off the Facts. I, I think we've had a great day. I really appreciate you being here. It's been a lot of fun, right? We've had some fun. I've had a great time. Took a ride. We got to blow your mind. <sighs> Played a game and, you know. I'm, this is a step outside the box of the everyday life, so thank you. No, it's great. And I think the audience uh, really appreciates kind of the, the knowledge you bring to that. Uh, we wrap up every show with uh, like a parting question, right? Um, the question I want to ask you is, who was your role model growing up and why? Oh, man. I can't believe I first thought that came to my mind was Joe Dirt, but I'd have to say my dad. Yeah. Uh, my dad taught me everything uh, about being a man, uh, the hard work ethic, being in the roofing industry and uh, on a job site is where I'm most comfortable and kind of been able to develop those skills. But uh, I would say my dad is my number one role model. That's awesome. That's so, great. That's awesome. All right, man, thanks for being here. Really yeah. appreciate it. My pleasure. And we hope you join us next time on In Building Design.